Okay, see that? The camshaft being level with the head, that timing is right. The cam marks are right. Because I didn't have that tightened yesterday. Because of being stupid. See the timing mark? There's the pointer. Because it slipped enough that I'm out. It's near the firing point, not the actual timing point. So I'm going to turn it to the timing mark. I got both nuts out of the sprocket. Keep the sprocket on the holder. Turn the crank to, to top dead center. And then I can move the, you know, couple teeth to get the bolt holes lined up again. Then I can just... I can throw the other cam back in because it's a lot <clears throat> trying to take slack out of that short chain and frigging around that's too much hassle this is just easier so i'll pause you for a second do that and then i'll show you just how far out i am because we'll go by the go by the bolt hole okay there's the Timing's pretty much just a hair, but that's easy to adjust. And see how much out that is? That's about one tooth, maybe two. Another look again at that. Just a hair. A little more fine-tuning. Okay, looking at it straight, the uh, timing is spot on the mark there. That looks like it's out about two teeth. Well, I got it. Timing mark level with the head. The bolt started fairly easy and straight. Camshaft timing is correct. Crankshaft timing is correct. I was actually out three teeth when that slipped. And see that? It's a fair amount of slack. So after I tighten that, I'm going to undo the tensioner then I'll have to roll it over three or four times to make sure it's got all the slack taken up so yeah that's pretty much how you fix that once I get that settled everything else is a cakewalk and that'll pretty much be it for today